Toit and Amiens were agonisingly close to high-profile wins against Monaco and Lyon last weekend, but they conceded late goals to come away empty-handed. The two promoted sides therefore determined to make up for the disappointment by taking it out on each other at the Stade de l'Aube. Toit captain Karim Azamoum had the game's first real chance, forcing a good stop there from Regis Gertner, who also reacted quickly to block Samuel Grontier's follow-up. Gertner's been one of Amiens' top performers this season, already five at clean sheets. He was called into action again a few minutes later as Mathieu de Plan unleashed from distance. Another excellent stop. However, there was great confusion when Hyun Jun Suk appeared to head to in front just after the half hour mark. The South Koreans header coming back off the bar before Brian Pele eventually swept in the rebound. But the referee had already awarded it with the goal line technology indicating the ball had crossed the line. Difficult to see on the replay, which is why Liga and Conferama introduced goal line technology at the start of last season. However, a bug in the system caused the referee's watch to vibrate in error because, as you will see in a moment, the ball hadn't in fact crossed the line at all. So both goals, Sooks and Pele's follow-up, eventually ruled out. And this is certainly not the first time that there have been problems with the goal line technology in Ligue 1. Well, either way, that meant it was still goalless at the break. Amiens beat second-tier Tour to reach the League Cup quarter-finals in midweek. Their reward is a last eight clash with PSG in January. There may have been some tired legs in their ranks just three days later. Well, Amiens also had the ball in the back of the net early in the second half. Gail Kakuta's strike was too hot for Mamadou Samasa to handle. But Serge Gakpe was clearly offside before firing in the rebound. Veteran midfielder Stefan Zabion replacing Samuel Grancier in the 68th minute. And that would turn out to be an inspired change by Jean-Louis Garcia. So while continuing to push for an opener, 40-year-old Bonjman Nive coming close there after he also came off the bench. Good block by Khalid Adnan. Well, Neve then attempted an audacious lob in the 75th minute. An effort that Eric Cantona would have been proud of, but he couldn't quite get it on target. The host finally broke the deadlock, though 12 minutes from time. A free kick coming in, and substitute Derby on getting it in at the second time of asking. Great reactions from Derby on. The 33-year-old with his third goal of the campaign. Trois ahead in the 78th minute. Saif Edin Kawi looking to add some gloss to the scoreline late on. Another fine stop from Gertner. And Amion also had a chance to get an equaliser at the death, but substitute Bashabu Koita was denied by Samasa. Some brave defending from Twa to block Musa Kanate's follow up. And the hosts holding on for a vital victory, 1-0, just their sixth of the season. They move up to 14th place, level on points with Amiens in 13th.